Click the first link in the description for the best Ask Reddit content. Today I fucked up by masturbating with shampoo. This was actually a problem I had for I'd say close to two years. So back when I was a horny middle schooler, just curious about everything and wanting to try new ways to get off, I was trying different forms of lube. Spit was disgusting cause of the way it smelled, and I didn't have easy access to lotion. Then one day, I was taking a shower, and it hit me like a semi-truck. This shampoo is the perfect lubrication for my teenage dick. I'm sure why you can see that this is a bad idea. I have to admit, it felt good for the most part and I was proud of myself for coming up with that seemingly genius idea. But, obviously that's not the purpose of shampoo. After a minute or two of stroking, it would turn to a thick glob of foam that I would have to slide off and reapply so I could keep the lubricated feeling going. It also didn't feel the best and I definitely noticed that it hurt when I got it in the hole. And it hurt like a motherfucker when I went piss afterward. I just assumed this was a normal thing that happened when you nutted, as I was not yet the jerking veteran that I am now. My 7th grade brain could not possibly fathom that using shampoo was not a good idea. So I decided that, since it worked so well the first time, I would just continue doing it. And continue I did. Most days after school I would set my stuff down, then go to the downstairs bathroom where I would bust out a fat one in the shower using my newfound lubricant. Fast forward to school probably about a week later. I'm sitting in the middle of geography class and I notice my bladder was starting to hurt. I thought maybe I had to piss. Nope. That wasn't it. It would only get worse until my bladder and my penis were just burning with the intensity of the sun and it seemed as if they could explode at any minute. It was even worse at one point because I got a cold, and let me tell you, the jarring motion such as coughing when you have bladder pain that bad is one of the worst experiences ever. I just figured it was nothing out of the ordinary, stupidly, and went along with my day. This kept happening and was becoming a recurring issue on most days. Sometimes it would go away for a few days or even close to a month, but it was always lurking in the shadows. It was getting to the point where I would have to look like the hunchback of Notre Dame just to walk from class to class without dying. I had to tell my mom, and I did, just not about the masturbating part. Cause I didn't wanna snitch on myself and it seemed unimportant at the time, she got me some cranberry pills that are supposed to help with bladder health after I kept complaining over the course of several months. It seemed like those kind of helped, but I wasn't sure to be honest. It was at this time that I usually started to whack it at night, and the bladder pain slowly went away. I also found a bottle of lotion underneath the sink in the bathroom, so I was able to use that for a good few months. At this point in the story, I'm in my sophomore year of high school, I'm a junior at the time of writing this, and I kind of forgot about the whole bladder problem I had been having for the last three years. Then one day, I said fuck it I'm horny RN and beat my meat in the shower for old times sake. I noticed that it didn't feel the greatest by comparison, but hey, to a horny teenager, that's not a huge concern. Then afterward, I went for the mandatory piss and noticed that it stung like a beyond crack. My dumbass still did not make the connection. I just knew that hurt and was like good thing I stopped doing that. So fast forward again to a few days ago. I was going through my medicine cabinet for something to help a headache and I come across these cranberry pills I mentioned earlier in the story. Then I thought back to the horrible bladder pain and it finally clicked in my head. Shampoo isn't supposed to go in or on my penis. Revolutionary, isn't it? Still can't believe it took that long to figure out that me using shampoo on my penis was causing long-term bladder pain. TL, doctor, used shampoo as lube as a horny middle schooler, ended up with a few years of intense bladder pain. You kept giving yourself bladder infections. Rookie mistake. Use conditioner instead if you must use a hair product to whack it. I remember the first time I tried to use shampoo, it was also the last time. Bladder pain? Jeez, you got a serious uti, urinary tract infection. You should go see a doctor and make sure it is okay. It might have been years ago but you did that to yourself for years also. Had this happen, except my dick turned into fucking Jabba the Hutt. I use shampoo a lot of time and never experienced anything like that. 
Today I fucked up by nearly burning our house down. When I was about 12, my dad left me alone in the house for the whole day. I was super excited and thought of myself responsible enough to take care of the house. I decided to make myself some pasta. I forgot that we need to keep an eye on the pasta while it boils and left it on the stove for a little too long. That was enough for the water to completely evaporate. The pasta was on fire so I threw a liquid in it. What is the liquid you ask? cooking oil. The pasta had a bigger fire now. The fire alarm finally went off. One of our neighbors broke the windows and out the fire with the fire extinguisher. I got out safely, thanks to the neighbor. Too long didn't read, overcooked pasta so long that it started to burn and tried to put it out with oil. This reminds me of Og Sims when you try and get them to cook and the whole house burns down. They're cooking a salad and all of a sudden everything catches on fire and everyone dies. I did this too, except I was 22 years old. My mom did something similar, twice. The first time, she was boiling water in an aluminium kettle on the gas stove. Forgot all about it, soon the water was gone and the kettle was starting to melt. When she came back there was a giant hole in the, the bottom of the kettle and some hot liquid aluminium had dripped and melted a hole onto the rubber hose from the propane tank, out of which a small flame was beginning to blow. Tank was shut off and the kitchen was fine, but the walls were black and the kettle was no good anymore. The second time, she had a walk on the stove and completely forgot about it while talking on the phone. She finished the convo and panicked when she remembered it was still on. I'd caught she was thinking but right after turning the stove off, she poured the oil into the still hot wok. I swear all the lights in the room dimmed dramatically as the oil lit up in a spectacular pyrotechnic display. She ended up dumping the whole hot mess into the sink and washing it down with water. It made a great deal of noise going down. Again, our walls turned black. My dad is a former firefighter, and they say opposite stone to tract. Well, you learnt a lesson about cooking. Today I fucked up by not understanding English. This happened about 16 years ago, but I thought I should share it. I was working as an airport security guard at the biggest airport in my country. This was one of my first jobs and I did it for one year. That one year gave me plenty of time to fuck up. But this is the one I still think about. BTW English is not my first language. So, one day I was walking around the terminal when an English speaking dude came up to me and asked where he could find the restroom. And me being stupid thought restroom was a room for resting. So, I pointed at a couple of comfy chairs and said, when I'm traveling I usually do it right there. Dude just said okay, thanks and walked away. Didn't even bother to try the chairs. Too long didn't read told a guy to take a dump in a chair. From all the today I fucked ups I read today this was definitely the funniest one. Thanks for sharing, D. To be fair to you, restroom is a euphemism that isn't used by many English speakers. Wholesome moments smile. Technically restroom is a restroom.